Hi, I'm Pavel, a software engineer based in Hamburg. Today I will show you how to operate Falcon 40B Instruct, currently ranked as the best large language model, according to the Open LLM leaderboard. You can find all the links in the description. We will be running Falcon on a service called RunPod. This service provides cost-effective cloud GPUs. For hardware, we are going to use two NVIDIA A100 with 80 gigs of VRAM each. To fully utilize the GPUs, we are going to use Hugging Face Text Generation Inference Server. They use it in production to power large language models widgets. I encourage you to familiarize yourself with its features. For tailoring the solution to your specific use case, inspect the options. Let's open Colab notebook that you can find in the description. Click here. First, let's install the dependencies. After installation, let's restart the runtime. Run it again. Now we are ready to use RunPod package. If you see the following message, it means that you did not provide your RunPod API key. You can either load environmental variable RunPod API key or type it in here. Now I loaded the environmental variable with the API key. And now the cell runs successfully. Let's run the next cell. When you run this cell, it creates a pod in your run pod account. If you click on logs, you can observe system and containers logs. As you can see, container started and the text generation inference server downloads the model weights. While weights are downloading, let's take a closer look at the container configuration. As you can see, we created a container with this name and we used an image provided by Hugging Face Text Generation Inference Server. Then we asked for two NVIDIA A100 with 80 gigabytes of VRAM. Also, we specified the cloud type for production. You might consider to go for the secure cloud. We are passing arguments with the model ID and configuration to use our GPUs. We are asking for 195 gigabytes of storage and we are mounting it to the data. Data is the directory where text generation inference downloads model weights. It allows us to stop the pod and pay only for the storage and resume the pod when we are actually need the GPUs. Let's go back to the pod and look at the logs. And it seems that uh, our server have started. Let's try to use it. We will go back to the notebook. For communication with a large language model, we are going to use LangChain. For that, we are importing Hugging Face Text Gen Inference class where you can pass temperature 
MaxNew tokens and other large language model parameters. Let's run the cell. Then we are creating a simple chain from the prompt template. It accepts two input variables, numtrees and numapples, to check whether large language model is functions as expected. As you can see, after one second, we got a response with different parameters. Uh, it works very fast. Next, I would like to illustrate that you can stop the pod with GPU. When it is running, you can see how much you are being charged for the GPU usage. Stop the pod. Of course, inference will not work when your pod is stopped. Let's resume it. Now you can see that uh, we are not re-downloading the weights because files are already present on the host and the startup is very fast. Now let's run inference again. It works. Now we are going to ask large language model to generate responses for 50 prompts that we have. We will measure the time it takes to generate the responses and we will stop the pod when we are done in order not to pay for GPUs that we are not using. So it took 100 43 seconds. Let's check the number of text generations. So we got a 50 responses and count the total tokens in all of the responses. Then we are calculating tokens per second metric to get an idea about end-to-end -end performance. Note. You can optimize this metric by adding more powerful hardware, passing different parameters to the large language model, and using options from text generation inference. Then we will display what we've generated with some markdown. I am very impressed with the results. To summarize, Falcon 40B Instruct is a very powerful large language model. It is licensed under Apache 2.0, meaning you can use it in your commercial products. After you are done with experimenting with Falcon, don't forget to stop and terminate your pod. Otherwise, you will be charged for the time that you are running it. To be 100% certain, check your RunPod console to make sure that you don't have any non-terminated pods. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.